How does the transplanted hair actually stay and survive when you, when you do the transplanting to the new location? Oh, that's an excellent question. Um, what happens, Jay, is genetically, as we age, there's a hormone conversion that takes place where the testosterone in our body converts into something called DHT. That DHT will cause a sebum buildup on the top of the skull. That sebum buildup miniaturizes the hair follicle, and then that will eventually keep the hair from making its way through. Now, for whatever reason, Mother Nature made this hair in the back of the head genetically pre-programmed not to be sensitive to that same conversion that causes the loss on the top of the head. So what we do is we take that good hair from the back of the head, we put it up top where the blood supply is good, and then it grows just fine, just as your own natural hair grows back here, that's how it grows on the top of your head. Because it's immune to the DC. Uh, that's exactly right. It's not affected by the same conversion that causes the loss on Got the top. It. That makes sense. Great question.